Well, the U.S. military congratulated Iraq this morning on the progress it's making in liberating the key city of Ramadi. That provincial capital west of Baghdad has been controlled by ISIS since May, but now Iraqi forces say they control most of the city. Iraqi troops are walking freely in the streets after their assault that lasted all weekend. Now they're searching for bombs that ISIS may have left behind. Deborah Pata is tracking that tough fighting from London. Deborah, good morning. Good morning. The Iraqis declared victory in Ramadi after pushing ISIS out of a key government complex, but a military source tells us that they are still facing pockets of resistance. Iraqi troops are taking over Ramadi street by street, but progress has been hampered because the area is rigged with explosives. The offensive began six days ago, and it has been a tough fight. Fierce gun battles raged as Iraqi soldiers pushed their way into the heart of the city. Their target seized in government compound. This is a far cry from when the Iraqis suffered a humiliating defeat in Ramadi. They were shown fleeing the city after ISIS captured it in May. It demonstrates a force that is capable of defeating ISIS on the ground, says CBS News senior security yes, contributor yeah. and former CIA deputy director yes. Michael Morell. This is the first time the Iraqi government has retaken territory from ISIS, so it's significant in terms of the Iraqi government finally getting its act together. Recapturing Ramadi will not only be a psychological boost for the Iraqi military, the city is also in a key geographical location. Ramadi lies about 60 miles west of Baghdad on a strategic road that leads into Syria. The government's next major target will be the northern city of Mosul, the most densely populated area under ISIS control. Ramadi really is a test case for seizing back Mosul, which remains the big prize for the Iraqi troops. Regaining control of Mosul would essentially deprive ISIS of a major source of funding and influence. Jeff? Deborah Pata, thank you.